Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Forza Horizon from from Microsoft Store. So if you are receiving any kind of error message or when you click on install, nothing happens. So whichever is the case, try the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps. So at the end of each step, try to download and install your game. Still you are facing the problem, then you can move on to the next step. Now the first step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. On the top right here, you can see your profile. I can click on it. Then select your account. Click on sign out. And on the top right, again, go to the top right and click on sign in. Select your account, click on continue. Enter your PIN or password over here. And then try to download your game once again. Now still you're facing the problem, then make sure your date and time and the time zone is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on over here. So if this is off, go ahead and turn it on and then try to download the game. The next step is to run Windows Store Troubleshooter. For that, go to the start menu, then click on the settings icon. Go to update and security. Click on troubleshoot. Click on additional troubleshooter. Scroll down and here you can see Windows Store apps. Click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is done, restart your computer and then try to install your game. The next step is to clear store cache using WS reset command. So just type in WS reset in Windows search box. And then click on WS reset, make a right click, then click on run as administrator. And you will see this black screen. Now this will take some time. Do not close this black screen. Just wait for some time. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. So wait till this black screen is gone. Now over here you can see black screen is gone. And you can see Microsoft Store, so you can go ahead and try to install the game once again. Now, still you're facing the problem, then you can update your Windows 10. So go to the Start menu, then click on Settings, then go to Update and Security, and then click on Check for Update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to download your game. The next step is to update your store. So on the top right, here you can see the three dots. On Microsoft Store, click on it, then click on Download and Updates, and then click on Get Updates. And if there is any pending update, it will go ahead and download. Now, sometimes here uh, you will see your game in Ready to Install list, so click on Ready to Install list over here, and if you can find your game, and then click on Install from here. So sometimes you can install the game from here, and that works. The next step is to Reset store app to reset store app. Go to the start menu, then click on settings, click on apps, and find store in the list. So you can go ahead and type in uh, Microsoft Store over here in the search box, and then click on Microsoft Store, then click on advanced option, scroll down, and then click on reset, reset, and once the reset is done. You can open store and then try to install the game. So once you see the tick mark over here, open store and try to install. The next step is to restart Windows Update Service. So just type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and find Windows Update. Scroll down and here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Make sure startup type is set to automatic and then click on apply. Now, if start is highlighted, click on start and then click on OK. And with Windows update selected, click on restart on the top. And once this is done, try to install the game. Also, make sure that background intelligence service is also running. So, in the same services, go to the services and make sure background intelligence transfer service. Make a double click. Make sure this is set to automatic. Click on apply, then click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK and then try to download the game. Now, if there is some connection issues, you can go, go ahead and run these commands. 
So you can open command prompt, just type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. Then run this command one by one. All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, after this, go ahead and restart your computer. So, go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then click on restart, and after that, you can try to install the game. The next step is to run PowerShell command. So, all these commands are provided in the video description. So, make a right click on the start menu, click on Windows PowerShell admin. So, make sure that you are running this as an admin. So, click on it, click on yes to allow, and then copy the first command, and paste it on the PowerShell window. Hit the enter key. Once this is done, you can run the second command. Paste it on the parcel window. Hit the enter key. If you receive any kind of error, just ignore it. And once this is done, try to open store and then install the game. If that does not work, you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. To uninstall Microsoft Store, again open command prompt. So make a right click, uh, open parcel. So make a right click on the start menu, then click on Windows parcel admin. Click on yes to allow and copy the first command. This will uninstall store, paste it on the parcel window. And this time, when you try to open store, it will not open up. Now, in order to reinstall the store, before you reinstall, just go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart, run this command. Copy this command. Make a right click on the start menu, click on Windows Parcel Admin, click on Yes to Allow, and then paste it over here, and then hit the Enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store. So when you type in Store this time, you should be able to open Microsoft Store, and then you can go ahead and try to install the game. The next step is to run DISM and SFC command. So just make a right click on the start menu. Again, open Windows Parcel Admin. So make sure that you are opening Parcel as an admin all the time. And run the first command, hit the enter key, and once this scan is 100% complete, once this is 100% complete, copy the second command and run it on the same window and then hit the enter key. And then you can go ahead and try to install the game. The next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So just type in inetcpl.cpl in Windows search box, then click on inetcpl.cpl on the top. And go to the advanced tab on the top and scroll down and make sure TLS TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, everything is checked over here. So especially you know TLS 1.2. So make sure 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, everything is checked over here. If 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 this is unchecked, go ahead and check it. And then click on apply, OK, and then try to open store. The next step is if nothing is working, you can go ahead and update your Windows 10 using Media Creation Tool. So you can go to the Google and just type in Media Creation Tool in Windows Search box. Open Media Creation Tool, click on Microsoft website, go to Microsoft website, then click on Download Tool Now. This will download Media Creation Tool exe file. Run this exe file, click on Yes to allow, and this will load media creation tool on your computer. Now agree to the terms, click on accept and then by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Make sure this is selected then click on next and this will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take time depending upon the speed of your internet and once the download is complete, before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked over here. So by default, it's checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install and once the installation is done, log into your computer and you can open Microsoft Store and you can install or download Forza Horizon from and this, this should, you should be able to download and install Forza Horizon 4 without any issue. So one of the steps should definitely help you. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.